The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has addressed a large rally in Australia where he's been greeted by thousands of cheering supporters at Sydney's Olympic Park. He appeared on stage alongside the Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. Mr Modi is looking for, to boost economic ties with Australia where there's a growing Indian diaspora. Our correspondent in Sydney, Phil Mercer, has more. This is uh, a typical example of Narendra Modi's uh, oratory skills, uh, a very uh, charismatic uh, uh, piece of oratory from the Indian Prime Minister talking about uh, and praising local politicians in Australia, food and, critic, uh, and cricket, referring to the passing of the Australian cricket legend Shane Warne a year ago, and also uh, asking the audience if uh, they shared his dream, his ambition of India becoming a developed country. That drew uh, a huge amount of applause. Mr Modi is addressing a crowd of about 20,000 people at Sydney Olympic Park, the venue for the Olympics back in 2000. Um, there was uh, a slight bit of tension outside the arena. Riot police called in to what they say de-escalate a bit of friction between Sikh activists and uh, Narendra Modi supporters. And uh, I think it's uh, important to say that the visit of the Indian Prime Minister to Australia really highlights divisions within the expatriate migrant Indian community in this country. There are Muslim members of the community and Sikh campaigners who um, want to raise various human rights and other political grievances. But as far as the audience inside the arena here in Sydney is concerned, uh, they are seeing what they've described as a once-in-a-lifetime leader. And what is the, how does uh, Australia see these ties? Because I'm bound to say India is somewhat controversial in the context of the conflict in Ukraine. India is Australia's sixth largest trading partner. Two-way trade between the two countries uh, was worth last year about $30 billion. Australia wants much, much more. There are negotiations towards a free trade agreement. So uh, speaking economically, Australia believes there are enormous opportunities. And Australia is quite keen to diversify away from its uh, trading reliance on China, for example. We've also been speaking to experts here who believe that closer ties between China and uh, between India and China are driven by a desire to counter China's rise in the Indo-Pacific. So uh, much for Narendra Modi to speak about during his trip to, uh, to Australia, uh, which is becoming a, an increasingly close ally.